Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to part six of preparing and caring for large seahorses. In previous videos, I talked about filtration, power heads, and using a protein skimmer in a seahorse tank. Now I'm going to talk about those things as they pertain to flow rate. As I mentioned before, for good seahorse health, we need to have current in their aquarium. Not only does it provide a type of exercise for them, but it can lift up detritus or any invisible dissolved organic waste, which is formed when anything breaks down in the tank, such as food or waste. And those are pushed out and into the protein skimmer. But to access the protein skimmer, they need a force of current that is appropriate to lift them up. It's recommended that the current or turnover rate of flow equal 10 to 15 times the actual size of the aquarium in gallons. As an example, if you had a 30 gallon aquarium, you would want a total flow rate of 300 gallons per hour or higher. Now this flow rate is the combination of all the devices that are running on the seahorse tank. In my example, I have a 300 gallon aquarium. So my goal would be a flow rate minimum of 3000 gallons per hour. But if I used that rate for any single device, such as the return pump from my sump back into the tank, it would be way too strong along with the power heads. My return pump actually has a flow rate of about 1800 gallons per hour, and one power head has a flow rate of approximately 1200 gallons per hour. So those two combined equal about 3000 gallons per hour. I use a device that alternates power heads in different parts of the tank so that the floor gets hit from different angles at different times without the flow rate being too much. That's the end of part six. Join me next time for part seven when I talk about aquascaping. Hope to see you then. Take care.